Hi guys, this is Corey with SellerCore.com, the free auction template editor. We've been talking about the CSS editor found inside the free SellerCore software. We've talked about other things as text, spacing, background, stuff like that. Today I want to talk about transform. Transform is how you add 3D effects to the items on your, your template. You probably have not seen many, if any at all, templates with 3D effects. So it's kind of a, a neat thing to add, but it can get a little bit advanced. So I just want to walk you through some of this stuff. So go to our template. Here I just have a basic image with a box shadow on it and a black border so we can see it. And once again, a basic div. I wrote Cellicor is awesome. This is live text. Put a border around it, same box shadow. So we have two different things I can show you with. So first of all, we'll double click on our image so we can get to the CSS editor. And here's a few things we talked about, the text, border, background, size, spacing, and our transform right here. So pretty straightforward. We have scale, skew, and rotate. And you know, when you just use one thing, it does exactly what you think it does. The magic to this is when you start putting them together you can really create some wild 3d effects so we'll start with scale so scale this is the one to one weight ratio of decimals it says over here so if I click one here nothing's gonna happen it's a one to one ratio but if I change this to 1.5 you can see that it stretches it one and a half times on the x-axis and if I were to change this to 1.5 you know it basically 150 percent size of the regular image so of course you can make the image this size so right here you can see if you scale it up it'll overtake the surrounding item so this is kind of a neat way to maybe overlap items a little bit give it a different effect you can see how it overlaps the text down here and also on the flip side you can make this 0 0.5 you know it doesn't have to be 0 0.5 it could be 0 0.1 whatever you like and then you know now the image is half the size so, you know, it could be 1.1 if you just wanted a little bit larger than what it was. You know, you put something like I said, this is all something that I it's hard to give you exact numbers. Play with it, see what you like, what you don't like. Whatever you go with is going to be what everyone else sees, so it's a pretty safe way to look at it there. So, we'll put these back to 1, so our image is standard. All right, next we'll go to skew. So we have skew X, skew Y. You're gonna, you're basically gonna skew it on an X axis and on a Y axis. So all these have drop down boxes that go all the way around in degrees. I'm just gonna keyboard up and down, just so this spins it around and you can see kind of all the different angles you can create this. There was the X. We'll have a Y. Spins it on the Y axis. All right, now we'll go down to rotate. Turn it on standard rotate that just spins it in a center so if you just want to angle it a little bit put a little bit of 45 degrees on it or something now as you'll see in the next the next example this is an image so that text is is part of the image but this will actually spin the text to within a box so that was your center now we have our x spins it on an x axis spin it all the way around we'll spin it all the way back and of course the same thing would be on a y Spins it around that way. We'll spin it back. All right, perspective. Perspective's hard. To, one of the things hard to give an exact number on. We'll set this at 45, and what it does, it's actually leaning backwards 45 degrees. But since there's no perspective on it, it kind of just looks squished. So that's where we come over here, and this is one of the things that the larger the number, the more it puts it back to its size. So if I just do a small number like one, it looks like we are our face is pressed against that image we can barely see anything it looks like it goes on forever so if we, if we make that number larger you can see that it starts to come back around a little bit so there we go so now the thousand maybe we'll try 500 so now it's definitely easier to see that hey this image is leaning backwards on a 45 degree angle and if we were to spin this around you'll see how that kind of stays with it definitely easier to see that it's on a 45 degree angle now so just something that you want to play with till you get a, a look you like. I played with a few numbers, you know, something for this. I I found that you know I'll rotate it a little bit. I'll lean it, lean it back a little bit, lean it over a little bit, and then if I add a little bit of skew on it, then we'll go with that. See so now it looks like the image is definitely more 3D. It looks like it's angling off the page a little bit. So we'll come down here and we'll do the same thing with this one. So double click on this. Edit CSS style, go to transform, turn them on. And like I said before, if you rotate this, 
that text will rotate with it same thing with the skew so this is something that maybe you want to get your text where you want it first because if you skew this you can write the text will write out in a skew so we'll put it we'll do the same thing we did with the last one this was 350 15 I believe 30 and this was 10 I believe our perspective was 500 you can see how that really looks like it's stretching 500 all right, we'll go with that, and there we go. So we have the same thing. Like I said, this is live text, so I can write. So of course, CSS is awesome. All right, guys, there it is. That's transformed. That's 3D's effect. This is Corey with Sellercore.com, the free auction template editor. Please leave any questions or comments below. I'm always happy to help. Thank you.